Hello, Chef. We woke up this morning to our very first snowfall of the season, a little earlier than we would have probably liked to have seen it. Absolute beautiful blanket of snow that covered everything. We got about six inches. Just gorgeous. You know, I'm actually inside of a cold frame, and the cold frame is really part of a process that we've been working on for years. You know, sustainability to us is not a newfangled buzzword for marketing. Sustainability has been a way of life for us where we've been attempting to grow a greener future for generations to come. What we're really doing in this cold frame is actually capturing solar energy. 26 degrees outside right now. 38 degrees in here. Slowly beginning to accept the energy from the sun and heating it up in here. And it really is a way to be able to capitalize on solar energy. There's been no fossil fuels whatsoever used to grow this crop of spinach. If you think about a freezing process, it's dehydration. If it's in your refrigerator and your refrigerator temperature drops down too low, it becomes transparent and it'll never rehydrate. But because this has got a taproot going down into the soil, it freezes at night, and then during the day, as the sun comes out and it slowly warms up, the spinach rehydrates. And then the next night it dehydrates and freezes. Then it rehydrates, and then it dehydrates. 15 times now this has been frozen and thawed. We used a refractometer on this, much like they use in wine vineyards. This spinach is actually testing as high as a red delicious apple. The flavor and the sugar that this is drawing up is unbelievable. The body, texture, flavor, color is second to none. Well, you can hear some of the snow falling off back behind me. I mean, it really was a blanket. As the temperature warms up in here, the snow will ultimately thaw off and drop to the sides. By the end of the winter, heck, the sides of this will be, there will be snow outside of this that could be up three, four foot tall. It's just one more example of us trying to grow a greener future for the next generation. Chef, thanks for your time.